It is now time to honor our special guest of the day, Ms. Geeta Pandit, for her excellence in the field of healthcare, for striving and showcasing best practices and strategies for a tuberculosis free India. Ma'am, you came from a very poor background, but you have achieved so much in your life, became the topper in civil service examination, and took up such an important task of eradicating TB. Can you please tell us what inspired you to do this? Inspiration. The answer lies in your question itself. I actually come from a poor background and growing up, I had a front row view to the effects that tuberculosis had on people's lives. My own mother and sister suffered from tuberculosis. My mother was too ill to work and it was difficult for us to make ends meet. My own sister had tuberculosis of the spine. What most people don't realize is tuberculosis affects more than just your lungs or your spine. A sick woman can't work and provide for her family. A paralyzed child can't play or go to school regularly. I wanted no one else to suffer the way me and my family suffered. So the burden of taking care of the family was on me. In the meanwhile, my mother left us. She failed to complete the course of medication and the disease worsened. Our family became too miserable. Family, friends and neighbors were scared of the disease and left us all alone. But I had strong willpower to take care of my sister. So I started studying hard I wanted no one else to suffer the way that we did. I decided to dedicate my life to social service, particularly to end tuberculosis. And this thought empowered me to clear my civil service exams. I was given the choice to join the health mission and it was an icing on the cake for me. So then I focused on TB eradication, which was then in a dormant state. The first thing I wanted to do was to form a team. I assigned each one with a particular duty. We started organizing screening camps as well as immunization camps. The most important aspect was to educate the people and to spread awareness. I strongly believed that awareness alone could bring about a sea change in the prevailing condition. The program was a great success and I made sure that I reached every nook and corner the country and now we are much closer in realizing the dream of tuberculosis free India. Tuberculosis is one of the top 10 causes of death worldwide. In 2016 10.4 million people fell ill with TB and 1.7 million died from the disease. It has been a leading killer of HIV positive people in 2016, 40% of its IV deaths were due to TB. The major symptoms of TB include cough, which is sometimes blood tinged, weight loss, night sweats, and fever. There is a special drug regimen for the treatment of tuberculosis, which is issued by the government of India, and one has to complete the full course of treatment in order to get completely cured of this disease. Multidrug resistant tuberculosis remains a public health crisis and a health security threat. Globally, TB incidence is falling at about 2% per year. This needs to accelerate to a 4 to 5% annual decline to reach the 2020 milestones of the end TB strategy. An estimated 53 million lives 
were saved through TB diagnosis and treatment between 2000 and 2016. So let's join hands to eradicate tuberculosis in our country.